In today's PowerPoint, it has become so easy to integrate add-ins directly from within PowerPoint. Simply by clicking on Get Add-ins, you get access to thousands of add-ins in the Office Add-in Store. Today, we're gonna take a look at the top 5 add-ins that will give you free access to surprisingly high-quality graphical resources, like beautiful images, professional icons and illustrations. And to demonstrate to you how amazing these resources really are, I thought it would be a great challenge to build one beautiful slide per add-in from scratch only using these free resources. And if you want to use these free graphics but don't want to spend a lot of time on building your slides from scratch, I recommend to take a look at the beautiful MassiveX PowerPoint template. With a massive amount of beautiful and fully animated slides, it is currently one of the hottest PowerPoint templates available. I got it myself and I'm using it on a regular basis because it just covers so many different topics and applications. It has a state-of-the-art design and can easily be customized and edited. Plus, you can choose from a variety of hand-selected custom color themes directly in PowerPoint. So there's a good reason that this is among the best-selling PowerPoint templates on Envato Graphic River. Here you can see, I bought it myself and I have not been paid to promote it. I just discovered it, think it is pretty helpful and affordable, so I wanted to share it with you. And the thousands of other people who bought it before also gave it a 5 star rating. I put a link in the description for you, it will serve you well in your next PowerPoint project. The first add-in you have to know about is Paxels. The Paxels add-in will give you access to a huge database of professional free images. Let's add it to our PowerPoint application, just agree to the terms and conditions and there we have the Paxels icon in the Insert tab. We simply click on it and that opens the Add-ins user interface on the right side. Now we have that search bar where we can type in search terms. So let's just type in city and we get an impressive collection of beautiful high resolution city images and if we want to insert one of them, we just have to click on it and it will be added to the slide. You see, this instantly triggers PowerPoint's Design Ideas feature that gives design suggestions. So let's add two other images. And from this we can create a beautiful image slide design within seconds. But that's just one example. Another powerful feature of this add-in is the Search by Color option. If you have some experience in designing slides, you should know that it is really important to use images that fit your overall color theme. So with this feature you can just enter a color code or select a color with your mouse. The selected color is now visible up there in the search bar. And now we only get images that have that specific color or slide variations of that color in them. And you can also combine that search color with a search term to get even more specific results. So let's just mix up some beautiful violet headphone images. And just with a few clicks we created this image slide design with matching colors. Now I promised you to create a full slide design using these resources. So let's search for example for woman art. And just if we take that image for example, you see these are highly professional images that I personally wouldn't expect to be free. So let's use this one and make it fit to the slide. And with this image we want to build a nice cover slide. So what we're gonna do first is we insert a nice header title, make the letters extra bold and white. Just call it Create Design. And then we copy and paste it for the subtitle. Make the letters a bit smaller. And there we go. That looks pretty beautiful, let's just move it a bit down. I think that is a great cover design for a presentation with only minimal effort. The second add-in I want to show you is another free image database add-in called Pixabay Images. Pexels and Pixabay are the two main free image databases on the internet. And we can add this add-in directly from this view, just click continue and there it is added right next to the Pexels icon. 
Let's click on it. And again the user interface of this add-in becomes visible on the right side. Just like in the Paxels add-in, we have a search bar where we can type in search terms. So let's just type in city again. And as you can see, these are not the same images that we had in Paxels, which is a good thing. And I think from a quality perspective, they are on the same level as the Paxels images. Now, when we compare it with the Paxels add-in, we see this add-in does not have a color search option. But instead it has other advanced search tools that allow you to filter by image type, by orientation, so we can select only vertical images for example. And we can also select a category and many many more. Now let's create a nice three image slide design. For that we insert three separate images, one with a building, one city image and one startup image with some busy busy people. And then we scroll through the PowerPoint design ideas because we are looking for a special three image design that fills out the whole slide with the images next to each other. There we go. Beautiful. And now we create some rectangle shapes and make them perfectly overlay the images. We can just start with the first image and then we copy over it to the other images. Now we format them to make them slightly transparent and remove the line. And then we give them three different blue tones as the fill color. After that we insert some beautiful titles. We make them extra bold again. We center them and position them right where they belong. Then we copy over that first title to the other two tiles and change the other two title names. The last thing that we have to do is to insert some placeholder description. For that we're gonna use a random lorem ipsum text. And once everything is adjusted, we copy it over to the other two tiles. And that is already it for this beautiful pixel-based slide design. The third add-in you have to know about is IconDrop. Let's add it to our add-in portfolio like the other two before. There it is. We open it. This add-in gives you access to a massive amount of high quality icons and illustrations. Some of them are not free, but you can easily filter for the free ones using this pricing filter. And as you can see, there are still thousands of beautiful and professional free icons and logos. In there you basically have any icon style you can imagine. So let's filter for a specific icon style. For this slide we want to use some doodle style icons. We also filter for the most popular ones. Now if we have found our icon we simply click on it and then click on insert. Let's throw in another icon with the exact same style. And then we also want to have some social media icons. So let's clear the filters. Select free icons again and search for Facebook where we can select from a massive amount of Facebook logos. Then we do the same search for Instagram and choose one of these beautiful Instagram icons. And we also get some LinkedIn icon. Beautiful.
But let's not forget about the illustrations. The free filter is still applied, so all of these illustrations can be inserted directly into our slide. Let's choose one that fits our overall color theme. And start building our slide using these resources. First, we change the background to this dark blue. Now we see that we have to do some work with this illustration to make it look good. Let's crop it first. And then we want to get rid of this white background and make it transparent. We have a pretty powerful tool for that in PowerPoint. In the picture color options we can click on set transparent color. And we simply select that white background with this tool. And now the background is gone. You see, this tool also made some of the illustration parts transparent, which is something we don't want. Um, and we also have a small outline around the image still left. But that's no problem at all, because we solved that by adding some white shadow. We make it blur a bit. And now we have a beautiful, slightly glowing illustration on our slide. Let's create the rest of the slide. First, we start by arranging the icons a little bit. And then we're gonna insert a nice bold title. In this slide, we're gonna talk about the values in our company. The first value will be transparency. Now we also add a placeholder description here. Adjust it a little bit. And then we try to make sure that the icon has approximately the same height as the two title and description items. Now we duplicate the text shapes, push it down there, and change the title to practicality. Last but not least, we add some text for our social media icons, saying find us on Instagram, Facebook and LinkedIn. We slightly adjust the font type and size. And then we finally move these elements a bit down. And that is already it. We created another beautiful slide only from the free graphics we got from the icon drop add-in. Add-in number four on our list is Icons by Noun Project. It is another great icon add-in with a solid amount of free icons. If you want to have even more than these free icons, you have to subscribe to their premium service. The great thing about this icon add-in is that the icons have a simple style with only one single fill. And you can select the fill color of the icon to make it fit your slide color theme. So for this add-in we're gonna create another beautiful slide that requires three icons. This time we're gonna talk about the goals of our hypothetical company. And for that we want to use some rounded rectangle boxes. We're gonna insert a rounded rectangle. Then remove the fill. Make the line a bit thicker. And then give the line a beautiful gradient style that becomes transparent towards the bottom. Beautiful. We duplicate it and place three of these boxes next to each other, perfectly symmetrical. And then we take that title and placeholder description, 
position it, adjust it and rename it. And we make sure that we just leave enough space above this title for the icon. Let's copy it over to the other two boxes. Seems like we have to make the titles a bit smaller to fit in here. And now we are ready to insert some beautiful icons from this add-in. Let's take that one for the first box. We make it white, just like we need it for the slide. Adjust the size of the icon. And place it right where it belongs. Then we select another one for the second slide. Insert it, position it, and we take this beautiful icon for the third slide. What I love about these icons from this add in is how simple and clean they are. It just looks like they belong right on this slide. Perfect. Now that's it for the slide design of the Noun Project icon add-in. Add-in number 5 on our list is Pixen Comic Characters. This add-in is perfect if you want to tell a story and convey your message. Unlike other add-ins, you will find this add-in in the Home tab after installation, not the Insert tab. Let's click on Comic Characters. And now we have a huge variety of characters to choose from. We can select a character, then we can give it an outfit. And after that we can choose from a huge amount of different poses. Let's choose this one. And now we even have the option to add a speech bubble to this woman saying something. So let's make this woman say I have no idea how to solve my problem. And then insert the character illustration. Seems like the perfect starting point for a beautiful slide that talks about a solution our hypothetical company provides. So let's design that slide. Again we select this blue background color. Then we copy over some elements from the previous slide and change the title. This box will be representing our product that helps this young lady to solve her problem. And to show that this young lady uses our product, we insert an arrow that shows from her to the product box. We also give it some beautiful gradient style. And after that we copy it over to the other side. Now let's find out how this young lady looks after our product solved her problem. So we go back to the pose selection and look for a happy pose. This one looks pretty good with these thumbs up. And now we add the respective text in the speech bubble. And insert it again. Make it fit the height of the other illustration. And place her on the right side. And that's it for this final slide design for this add-ins demonstration. Look at all these beautiful slides we were able to create only using free resources from these PowerPoint add-ins. 
And these five add-ins will bring you even more joy if you use them together with the amazing slide designs of the Massive X PowerPoint template. So don't forget to check it out in the description. And of course, leave a like and subscribe for more awesome and modern Excel and PowerPoint content. I wish you a beautiful day and see you next time. Cheers!